This video is brought to you by StarCharge, the largest EV charging manufacturer in the world. They are also a provider of residential and commercial battery storage with microgrid solutions. Hello everyone, welcome to Out of Spec Reviews. I'm Ryan and I'm really excited because today we get to analyze the Chevrolet Silverado EV 4WT charging curve. That is the big, massive, over 200 kilowatt hour battery also found in the Silverado RST Hummer EV, biggest battery on the market. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, what this looks like. So let's jump in. Straight from 0%, we get 350 kilowatts. We actually see a bit higher from the station, over 360 kilowatts. This is largely battery conditioning because the vehicle itself indicates how much power it's receiving, and it was getting 349, 350 kilowatts in this time frame. Five minutes in, and we're at 13% state of charge. It doesn't sound like much, but it delivered 28 kilowatt hours in those five minutes. I do want to say we had to record this in two different sessions, as we saw limited charging speeds on the first attempt. However, I lined up everything perfectly, and the switch is right around 10 minutes, and I've paused it there. Like I mentioned, it's perfectly lined up. This is something we've done for other vehicles in the past, and just to note if you're curious, you can add 51 kilowatt hours to the indicated kilowatt hours in the top right. 10 minutes in and it's still ripping over 350 kilowatts and it's delivered 58 kilowatt hours. That's insane. In 10 minutes, it delivered an entire Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive battery and it hasn't even tapered. Let's continue. 12 minutes in, we reach 30% state of charge and it begins to taper. Only slightly though, uh, it's still well over 300 kilowatts. At 15 minutes, we're still above 300 kilowatts and it's delivered 86 kilowatt hours. This is about as good it's, as it's going to get with current technology. CCS is limited to approximately 350 kilowatts, and if you hold 350 kilowatts for 15 minutes, it would deliver 90 kilowatt hours. And again, we received 86, so we're really not that far off the theoretical maximum. It took 21 minutes to reach 50% state of charge, and 25 minutes in, this is where I'm starting to get a little bit antsy. I've already gone to the bathroom, got some food, stretched my legs. I'm ready to go on to the next charging stop. The thing is, it's still pulling 260 kilowatts. It's really crazy to think about how long this vehicle is holding over 200 kilowatts. The longest we've ever seen this happen is 27 minutes, and that was the Rivian R1T. And Usually, vehicles only hold 200 kilowatts for a few minutes, and we're seeing this for such a long time. Finally, at 37 minutes, we're seeing a real taper, and we dip below 200 kilowatts for the first time. For optimal road trips, you'd want to unplug around this time. I have to say, 37 minutes is a pretty long time for a charging stop, but it's a huge battery, and that will get you very far. More on that later. We dip below 100 kilowatts at 84% state of charge. There's really not much benefit to staying plugged in at this point. You're much better off getting to the next charging stop. You're definitely going to have plenty of battery to make it there. This is a good time to bring up C-rate. This is how quickly a battery charges. If a battery takes one hour to charge, its C-rate is one. If it takes half an hour, its C-rate is two. 15 minutes, a C-rate is four. To oversimplify things, a higher C-rate means it's charging faster, but it's more challenging for the battery and it uh, stresses it more. So even though we saw massive charging speeds, 360 kilowatts, it's also a huge battery, well over 200 kilowatt hours. This means the C-rate is reasonably low and the battery is not really being stressed all that much. After an hour, we're at 93% state of charge, still pulling over 55 kilowatts. Now, one thing I want to mention is I used to own a Chevy Bolt. That had a peak charging speed of 55 kilowatts. It's pretty brutal, and it's absolutely crazy to see it, a vehicle pulling 55 kilowatts at 95% state of charge. I guess you could say GM made some slight improvements on the battery charging behavior on this Ultium battery compared to the Bolt. We're reaching 100% state of charge, and I think it's a great time to now look at the actual charging curve. First, I want to take a look at the charging curve, kilowatts versus state of charge, and I have it right here, and you can see initially that huge 350 kilowatt charging and 
right around 30% state of charge, it starts to taper. And it's a pretty gradual taper all the way to just about 75%, where it reaches about 225 kilowatts, uh, and then begins a very serious taper. This is a really solid charging curve. However, it's hard to tell that without putting it in context. So let me show it with a few other trucks, its direct competitors. And as you can see, the Silverado is miles ahead of every other truck. It's not even close. Bigger peaks, fatter curve, it is just way better at charging in all aspects. This is a massive improvement and really, really impressive. And Honestly, it doesn't even make sense to compare it with other trucks. It's one of the best charging vehicles we've ever tested, full stop. Let me show you. Here we've got every vehicle. I highlighted the Silverado and almost nothing comes close. The only other vehicle that does very well uh, and comparable, I suppose, would be the Porsche Taycan, which, again, is one of the best charging vehicles we've ever tested. Truly a monster. So... Really, I think this is an incredible result, really setting the bar very high, and just a, a great curve. Really impressed with GM here. Next, let's take a look at one of my personal favorite graphs, the uh, time versus 70 mile per hour range added, because this is what's important in the real world. And right now, I have all of the trucks pulled up, and as you can see, it's not close. The Silverado just blows all of them out of the water and it's way better. And just like for an example, how long does it take to get 150 miles? For the F-150 Lightning, 31 minutes. R1T, 23 minutes. Cybertruck, 21 minutes. Silverado, 14, 15 minutes. It's significantly faster. This would be very noticeable in the real world. And this was actually reflected in our coast-to-coast -coast truck race. They had the 3WT, which is a smaller battery, less range, and slower peak uh, charging speeds. However, they still managed to win, and I think this charging curve kind of demonstrates why that happened. To prove my point, I want to show this in context with all vehicles. And this is every vehicle that we've done a range and charging test, and it's near the top. It's incredible. The, the cars that are around it are like a Tesla Model Y, Genesis GV60, a Porsche Taycan, uh, and then other eGMP vehicles. And by the time we reached 30 minutes, which admittedly is a very long charging stop, this is the best charging vehicle we've tested. It's, it's really great. I'm very impressed with how this looks. I have to say, I'm really impressed with this charging behavior. And, you know... I think it's a fair criticism to say that this is kind of a dumb way to achieve this. Just slap a big battery in there and call it a day. But it works, and I think it's really needed in the market. I can't wait for the Silverado RST, which should be similar in performance as far as range and charging, but even more comfortable. I'm really happy to see a truck that's finally good at charging and really competitive with other vehicles, even ones that are really solid at road tripping. Even though the Silverado EV is massively inefficient, the charging really makes up for it. I don't know if this charging curve will ever be topped. Uh, if it will, it will be a long time for now. I think the only thing that would be better is if GM slapped this big massive battery into like a tiny sedan, maximize efficiency, and just see how much range we could get. I'd love to see a thousand miles. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say and really happy to be sharing this. See you guys on the next one.